Who would have thought to put meat in your potato salad? Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. In March of 2021, we left on a plane from America to live in Germany, a country we had never stepped foot in before. We had a goal to live internationally and learn more about the world. So far, our experience has been life-altering. In our last video, we took it internationally and explored Luxembourg for the first time. It's one of the top three richest countries in the world and has so much to offer. In today's video, we are continuing our journey in this country and answering the question, what do people in Luxembourg eat? We just wrapped up a couple hours here in Luxembourg. It's cold, it's rainy, but we've seen a lot of beautiful things, and now we wanna dive into a couple things to eat. If you know anything about the food here in Luxembourg, it is one of the most expensive places that we've ever been to. And just seeing some of the prices on the menus and the portion sizes, it is gonna cost more than you're probably used to, but we still wanted to experience some of the food rather than sitting down in a restaurant for tonight. We stopped at a cafe and a bakery to grab a few things. The food scene is quite international here with lots of French and German influence, as well as Portuguese, Italian, and others to name. So finding something that's authentic Luxembourgish amongst the international cuisine takes a little bit of searching. Even when we looked online, it was a little difficult to find something that said authentic Luxembourg dishes. So we asked the lady at the cafe which foods were from Luxembourg that we could give a try, and we ended up with two. One that is a potato pancake, and the other that is a meat salad. Will you say it again? The pancakes? Confrère Okay, and then the salad was the uh... Feierstang Salad. Salad. So this looks just like a hash brown patty in my opinion, and it looks like it has other herbs, and it's a shredded potato. It's kind of crumbling apart. Uh, can't wait to give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. To be honest. I was expecting more of a greasy flavor, but this has a really nice flavor and it's kind of got a crunch still to it, so it's not completely cooked all the way through. And the herbs and the butter and whatever else is in here tastes really nice. This is something that I would probably prefer a little bit warm, although everything they had at the cafe was served cold. This is something that would be perfect for a quick grab and go snack. These little guys were still two and a half euros a piece, which shows that these exactly weren't the cheapest things. As you can see, there's a little bit of raindrops on our screen. We apologize for that. My hair is wet. It is cold. I mean, you guys, look at my hands. They're chilly, but it is worth it to try this food. Mmm. Yeah, it almost seems like there's some milk, maybe some egg to make it all stick together. It's not oily, but you can tell there's definitely a fat that's been used in there. It's very savory. Something that you could have for breakfast, a snack, even like lunch or dinner, I feel like. If you had enough of these, you know, paired with some produce or some greens, it could be a great meal or a snack. So out of all the things that we got, this one's definitely your one that's gonna be most like an entree. It's a meat salad, so meat, is high in protein, high in fat. It's gonna sustain you for a while. And there's a lot of chunks here in this salad. You can tell that is the main ingredient within this salad. It is beef, and just to show you, this is what one of the chunks looks like. You can also see some herbs mixed in here. The sauce is a little yellowish in color. If not, I would say also white. It looks like I just got a piece of a boiled egg. I might be wrong on that, let me see. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, and just for that little taste that I got, it tastes a lot like potato salad, which when we have potato salad, typically it has hard boiled eggs, pickles, potatoes, of course, and a mayonnaise-based sauce, and that's what this tastes like. And then in here, I can also see the orange carrot. This right here looks like a pickle. So again, seeing this pickle, I'm just guessing it's gonna taste a lot like a traditional potato salad. Traditional, I don't know if it's traditional in your area, but in Utah, that's what we think of when you get potato salad. Here we go. I got a piece of meat, which is essentially two pieces of meat, once hanging by a thread. Yum. Who would have thought to put meat in your potato salad? 
I wouldn't have, but it's really good. It's a nice flair and it's supposed to be eaten cold, so it's perfect. It tastes really good, actually. I really like the mixture of pickles with eggs and mayonnaise. You can't really go wrong. I'm sure there's a little bit of mustard mixed in. That's probably where the yellow color is coming from. And then here we are with the Luxembourg donuts. I saw these when I was searching on Google for traditional Luxembourg food, and these came up online. It said that they're really common, especially during festivals. So carnival is commonly celebrated here. That's where you'll find this as well as other holidays. Turns out you can find them in some bakeries too. Here's one right here. It's coated in powdered sugar. I will put the name below because I cannot pronounce it. So Tanner just informed me that there's a dog pooping in the back of my video. <laughs> oh, someone just stepped in it. Oh. And someone just stepped in it. Sorry about that. But man, the dough that they use to make this is very sweet. I really like it. It is dense though. Like chewing it, if you could see, it was just like fairly thick and you have to chew, chew, chew to swallow it. I needed some water to help get that down. The powdered sugar is a nice touch on it. I even felt like I got a hint of lemon in it. So really enjoyed that. I'm gonna move on to the next one and then Tanner can take a turn. So the other one had that texture of like a crispy outside. This one feels fairly soft. Mm. Really, really nice. I prefer the bigger one just because it's softer, a little easier to bite into, but they taste very similar, just different sizes. Do you want a bite? Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. I really, really like this. Although I do wish that it was a little more fluffy, it still is really delicious. So there you guys have it. There's a taste of Luxembourg traditional food. Although Luxembourg doesn't have a lot of street food, I would say the donuts, even the potato fritters could be quick street foods that you could take on the go. Before we close out, I wanted to mention one more thing about this cuisine. It's very similar to German cuisine in the fact that a lot of the common foods and ingredients are potatoes, meats, beans, sausages. It's a lot of foods that farmers or just locals could grow and have on their own and raised to eat. So, very hearty foods. Once you eat, you just wanna sit back, relax, maybe take a nap, but we'll sustain you for a long time. And obviously that wasn't enough food to sustain us for the evening, so guess where we stopped? You can't really see it, but it's a Duna place because we love them and we forever will. So it seems like it's pretty common here in Luxembourg as well, just like it is in Germany, a common popular street food item. <laughs> And in here, throughout that whole time of taste testing that food, Willa has been such a champ. She's in the stroller with the rain cover on, eating a piece of bread, and she is just happy, you guys. We are so blessed and so lucky to have her. She's the ultimate little traveler, and she makes everything better. Tanner got a lot of laughs out of her today playing with her. We love you. Hi. <laughs> It's not ideal to be traveling out in the cold. Winter is just hard because you have to pack for so many things, coats are heavy, but here is your sign to make it happen regardless of the weather. There's a lot of fun memories, a lot of tasty food that can be tried, and just a lot of amazing sights to take in. So do it for yourself, do it for your family, get out there, make some adventures.